Hey y'all, <laughs> how are you? So this is the second, um, or the take two of Honey Slim Pickens. Ali posted it on YouTube, I guess maybe about a week ago. If you aren't sure about what Ali's Honey Slim Pickens challenge is about, I will leave the link below in the description box. Um, I think this year she's doing people putting their final pages up on Instagram. I like the journal, uh, the whole experience of it, like via video. And Mr. Rockstar and I decided to do this um, so people can kind of see because you know, I don't do a whole lot of stuff with him on YouTube because he is not a big fan of being on the camera. He will film for me some, but he doesn't really like to be in the videos much. I thought I'd do it a little bit different and since it's a whole new month and this is going to be a crazy busy creative month which I'm really excited about last month was really fun I learned a whole lot it's been very creative I am putting some things together rearranging some travelers notebooks and figuring out how I'm gonna do what I'm gonna do because I'm about to switch things up because I'm going to be making my own sketchbook and journal I'm super excited I'm super excited. Most of my supplies should be in tomorrow. I'm going to hunt through because I've rearranged my room and now I don't know where I put my fancy paper. Like I have some onion skin paper and some uh, glassine paper and things like that. And I don't know what the heck I've done with it. So I'm going to do a second blog post. I just did the first one in a series of journaling. So like I don't know I'm kind of going back to the journaling uh, getting started and beginner because I'm changing things up I find it really interesting so without further ado Mr. Rockstar picked my five things and I was stumped for a few minutes with it <laughs> uh, he knows me well and we talked about it because he's watched quite a bit of the Honey Slim Pickens videos with me he enjoys those and he is not adverse to doing a challenge with me, but the only way I can really get him on film much. But this was a lot of fun. I enjoyed it immensely, and yet it did challenge me. So I'm going to do a little bit of voiceover, uh, not very much. I'm going to kind of let the, the what I did speak for itself. I think I did some talking in it, so I'm going to try not to really edit out too much of that. And I hope that you enjoy it. Bye, y'all. All right. Um, first and foremost, I love you. I love you, too. I love you. Just keep that in mind. Okay. Just remember, five things. Five things. Wrong. Down the bottom. Bottom. Very bottom. Hey. I'm, okay. I got this. Could I? Something like. Anything you well, choose. Because it's got Snoopy, and I know you love Snoopy. So. I almost got Woodstock over there, so I don't want to pull it. But you cut that out for me. Do you remember? Huh? You gave me that. I did that? Yeah. Oh. Okay. So there's that. Alright, three more. Right. Gotta lift the bottom up. What is up with lift the toys? bottom up. Is every dresser in the house like that? <laughs> Okay. 
that's right colorful that we got be, one thing left now no that would be three things why right I don't know this, what did the you comic, and okay I got this oh you got paint okay 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 that's three all right you got two more okay I'm on. Try not to mess up your space. Oh, okay. You know, too awful bad. Oh, okay, yeah. So I, I got it two It needs more. to be clean. Two more, two more, two more, two more. Okay. I don't keep much on that desk. That's the computer desk. Okay. I don't keep much on this desk either. It's all okay. that way. It's all this way. The cart, the that desk, this dresser, and that cub cubby, that kind of thing. Okay. Okay. There's well, more water. Yeah. Some you have to kind of dig through because I got bags and sketchbooks in there. Um. Yeah, you got. Yeah, I need okay. to reorganize that. Okay, we're gonna leave that alone. Um, okay, I know I want washi tape. Washi tape. <laughs> we got some washi tape. Oh yeah. All right. See, normally I know you would think that I would do this one. Oh, the music you know. one? Yeah, you would think. That's what you did to me last year. Yeah, well, I'm not doing that this year. We're okay. Okay. We got to remember it's supposed to challenge me. Well, okay, but. Baby loves books, so. There's that. Hmm. That's four. All right, one more. I know what you would probably want me to do, but uh, I'm not going to. So, Sorry, am I taking too long? I'm sorry. Mm -mm. Okay, uh, like, um, there you go. You're done. Ta da! So, so you gotta move some of this stuff, but. Okay. So you got. This. A piece of uh, cardstock, oh. red cardstock. Yeah. A comic strip. Which also did that, so you're going to have to figure out. Okay, anyway, you're the creative one. A comic strip. Because, I mean, you know, and and this is black, right? Right, that's okay. black. I want to make sure. That's okay. a pin. So there, oh. and the washi tape, and the comic. Okay. 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 Did I do bad? No, you did fine. Okay, I don't really care if I did. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Okay, so um, I have the stuff. Now, this, I don't know if I'll edit it and put all of it up on YouTube. I haven't really seen very many people doing it on YouTube, um, but Ali did the uh, Honey Slim Pickens thing again, and I thought I'd, um, Mr. Rockstar and I enjoyed it last year, so we thought we'd do it again this year. He picked out, like you saw, this pen. He picked out book washi tape. He picked out uh, paint. And he picked out a comic strip that happened to be in my extra paper stash. And he picked out red cardstock. So, um, 
Yes, I'm going to do today's journal page. All this red, y'all. All this red. So, um, you get to use your tools. Okay, so I, I thought in the beginning I'd cut out some of the things that I really liked from the comic strip. And then you're going to see where I ended up, when I cut that off, I cut the lady's head off. And I remember thinking, oh crap, what am I going to do with her head? So then I had to search because later on you're going to see where I adapt. <laughs> it was a challenge, but I ended up doing okay with it. Normally, I'd love having all this red, but you know, there's actually sometimes less is more, and at first I was like, oh my god, red, yeah, I love red, but then, oh, yeah, when you're limited to just red, <laughs> as much as I love red, it was an awful lot of red, y'all. So my thoughts were to do something that's my stuff, but maybe to challenge myself a little bit because I normally would use red as an accent color or I would use like some red, but I would have other things. And normally I use like a bit or a couple of bits of ephemera type stuff. Like I normally wouldn't have this much of other stuff I'd have more drawing on my pages but be limited to red I could have drawn some things but I thought you know what why not make a scene of some of the things and then just so much red um, I wasn't quite sure really what to do with all of it so I used some of the elements from the comic strip and I kept seeing different things and I was like what can I do with this what can I do with this what can I do with this and this was a challenge because I didn't want to just do what I normally would have done I could have drawn or taken a bit of it and drawn a scene with the guy with the coffee at the corner um, and just went with that and then use the red and had it maybe a little bit more monochromatic or something um, but I really wanted to challenge myself and so I did bits and pieces of it, added bits and pieces together. <laughs> and then I was trying to figure out composition and that challenged me. I knew I was going to be limited. So I actually ended up painting the man's shirt where I drew his arm and his hand and I had to draw some of the rest of the copy maker. I had to adjust. So I ended up painting his shirt red over the blue. <laughs> So it didn't, didn't match and a little bit of my OCD came out when I was doing this, but overall it was really challenging.